Alright, what is going on guys and welcome back to the Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. At the end of last episode, we defeated the Olivon City Gym Leader Jasmine, so uh, we're actually pretty underleveled in the process. What's going on, Mammal Swine? Always confused. Holding something? What the fuck? What you got? I think it's just always fashion case things though. Big scale, put it in the fashion case. Okay, well cool. I don't know why the hell you're carrying that around, Mammal Swine, but thank you for that. Anyway, like I was saying, so we battled Jasmine, and we were actually pretty underleveled in the process. So I decided off-screen to do a little bit of grinding. I got pretty much everybody to the same level. I have Face Paint, level 28, looking the same moveset-wise. Then we have Perry, level 29, Seahorse, level 29, Rick Rowe, level 29, and Tubby's, level 27. There's a reason for that. That's essentially because I know that Munchlax does evolve through happiness, so I didn't really want to grow this thing too many levels and then have it evolve on me off-screen. So I decided to kind of leave... Leave Tubby where we was at, so we're going to use him in this episode. And then we have Cheerio, who is level 29 as well. So we're looking pretty damn sexy, if I don't say so myself. Let's actually put Tubby in front. And uh, next order of business, let's hop on our parrot, and we are going to fly towards Ecritique. Because our next place to go to is Mahogany Town, since it's literally the only corner of the map we haven't gone to. We're going to fly to Ecritique and make our way to the right. So, should be some pretty fun stuff. There's going to be a couple opportunities to probably catch some wild Pokemon, so that should be... Pretty exciting, and all right. So here we are in Ecritique. Before we before we leave, let's actually go to the Pokemon. I'm gonna buy some things. So I think we can actually get better, maybe better Pokeballs now. Can we? Hell yeah, we can get Ultra Balls. 1,200. Fuck it, we're taking it. I can afford 44 of these. Um, you know, what, let's just get like. Let me get like 15. Your boy's got a lot of Poke Dollars now, so we're we're, we're balling. And then uh, I'm gonna actually get some Hyper Potions as well. I can get. I'm gonna get like 15 of these also. Since I did use a lot of my potions last episode, we are looking stocked up. Alright, cool. So, next order of business. Let's head off to the right. So, you can actually go this way when you enter Acritique for the first time, but uh, I never did. So, I think... Okay, this is Route 42. Pretty pretty cool place. We got we got an item over here. It's Team 77 for Drill Peck. Now that's actually pretty damn useful. Should I teach that to somebody? I think I'm going to. Way too useful, bro. Where's Drill Peck? Drill Peck, Drill Peck. There it is. Okay, so, our freaking flying type can't learn it, Tubby can learn it, Face Paint can learn it, Cheerio, almost everybody but freaking Perry, let's see, should I teach it to Face Paint? I think Face Paint needs it, honestly, I need another good attacking move, I have Rolling Kick, which has been putting in work, and Flame Wheel, but, fuck Glare, it only has, Glare only has 75 accuracy, Drill Pack's pretty decent, it's an 80 base power, you know, let's, let's, let's get rid of Glare. Teaching, teaching Drill Peck to our face paint. I guess I, I do have tusks, so I could, I could be like... Drill tusks. Not really peck. Peck you with my tusk. I don't, I don't know how that would work. But we got Drill Peck on our Mamoswine, so that's cool. What the fuck? Wait, what's going on here? Whoa. Look where you're fucking going, hiker guy. Sorry that I bumped into you. Yeah, you better be sorry. About to beat that ass. Please don't cry. Here, take this. Obtain the HM04. Okay, well that's probably strength, right? This guy just bumps into us and gives us an HM. He's like, I'm sorry. The Pokemon learns that it can move boulders out of your way. Enjoy a happy mountain climbing life. Okay, cool. So, that was that was interesting. Okay, so over here we have Mount Mortar, Waterfall Cave inside. Interesting. And then we also have a whole bunch of water. So we can either go in the cave or we can go in the water. But first, I'm going to go in the cave. Let's go ahead and find a wild Pokemon and we'll catch it. And, you know, hopefully it'll be something cool. I think it might be. I have a, I have a damn feeling. We're due for something sweet. <laughs> Let's see. So our first encounter is going to be a Charmander. Okay, well that's actually pretty damn cool. I like Charmander. So it's level 13. Um, I feel like I'm gonna kill it with all of my with all of my attacking moves. What the fuck do I do? So it's so, it's so low level because of the fact that you can you can come here earlier in the game at the point where we're around level level 15. So I'm gonna hit it with a Vine Whip. That can't kill. Come on, Cheerio. You know what to do. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, that, that's actually it's decent. It's gonna go for Taunt now. Fuck yo, time. Let's go ahead and, you know what? Rather than using our new shiny Ultra Balls, let's just use some Great Balls, because... <clears throat> should be able to catch this thing, no problem. Fucking Wild Charmander. And, oh, we got it first try, hell yeah. So we got ourselves a Charmander, that's, that's pretty cool. I was hoping for something more of the evolved variety, but, you know, whatever. We'll take it, we'll take it. Flame on its tail indicates Charmander's life force. If it is healthy, its flame burns brightly. So, let's give you a nickname. What should I name you? So, Male Charmander. Hmm. Okay, I got a good one. Somebody... I remember somebody... One of my friends using this back in the day. <laughs> I'm going for it. We're going for Charred Core. <laughs> like, Hardcore? 
but Charmander, Chard Killer, I don't know. I thought <laughs> seems kind of funny. Whatever, we got a Charmander, so that's that's pretty sweet. Anyway, well, I wonder what else there is to do in this place. Just a whole bunch of more wild Pokemon. Jump Love, fuck you. I'm glad you weren't my encounter, and I can't escape from the fucking Jump Love. Jesus, Jesus, Munchlax, get it together, bro. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna get off the bicycle because fuck that. Let's head over to the right first, and there's just gonna be so many wild Pokemon. Fuck you, level 13 Venema. Oh, it has Arena Trap. Bruh. You're making me do this, Venomoth. Making me do this. Oh, well, I guess Tubby doesn't need experience anyway, but... Okay, so should I actually teach somebody strength? I guess I, should, I probably should, huh? Probably a good idea for this point. We, uh... Okay, so I can actually teach that to... Pretty much anybody but freaking Perry. What the hell, bro? Who wants it? Should I teach her to face paint? We get rid of Lovely Kiss? I don't know. Lovely Kiss is pretty decent. Strength is actually a really good move. It does have 80 power, and you know what? That's actually probably a better move for... for Tubby, considering it is Stab, but... Do I really want to get rid of Cross Poison? That is the question. I mean, Cross Poison does kind of suck. I mean, when when is Poison ever useful unless you're battling, like, a, a Grass-type? Which case... Strength or extreme speed probably does just about the same. You know what, let's get rid of cross poison. I'm gonna give it strength just because it'll be useful for us to have. And it's stab, and it's, you know, it's a pretty decent HM, which is kind of nice, so. So I can push this one. Should I just push this one right away? Fuck it. Would you like to use strength? Hell yeah, I would. Bring out my buff-ass Munchlax. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. So, what is happening over here? I honestly don't even remember what there is in this place. I think it's just a whole bunch of items, really. Fucking Turtwig. This is just the place full of starters. And what the fuck? I just got hyper beamed by a Turtwig because I can't fucking escape from this. I'm too lazy to battle it. Jesus Christ, Tubby. You know, you're not staying in front anymore. You're, you're blowing it. You're slow ass can never run from things. Jesus. Okay, so we have an item over here. And, I, and one of the things I, I should have bought was fucking repels because it's going to make it a nightmare to get around this place. Pineapple berry, thank you. Steal yo pineapple. And you know what? I'm hopping back on the bicycle. Fuck it, YOLO. Oh my god. Honestly though, I think I should probably just go back and get some repels because this is fucking ridiculous. Alright, so I'm back in the cave. Got myself some repels. That is gonna make things much easier. Thank god. I don't know why I just didn't get those initially when I was just at the freaking mart, but whatever. So we'll use a super repel. Thank god, okay. Now we can efficiently explore this damn place without running into something every fucking two seconds. So let's just go back to where I left off here. So we'll have Munchlax fat ass go ahead and strength this around, please. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah. Okay. So up there to the left, there's nothing but that item we already got. What is happening over here? We got another item. What are you? It is a ooh, choice specs. Damn, not even bad. Not even bad at all. Okay, so we can either go up. There's too many options in this place, man. I don't know where to go. I'm going this way. Towards where there's this guy. What's up, bro? Hey. Huh. What, did you, what did you just say? What, what the fuck? Manager Kate here with a freaking robotic Pikachu has an Umbreon. That's pretty cool. Although, very low leveled. <laughs> Only level 19. I'm definitely doing this place pretty out of order, but... You know, fuck it. I don't even care. So screw your Umbreon. I probably should have let Munchlax skill that thing because I do need levels on that, but... Whatever, whatever. Spray the super repel and continuing. Oh, hop the fuck down. Oh, oh Jesus, that was. <laughs> These are the downfalls of riding a damn bicycle, and I'm just wasting repel steps. What the fuck? What was down here? Oh, wait, there's just that pokeball right over there. I want, I want it. <clears throat> Come to Papa. Spell tag. Okay, cool. Since the randomized item things, it, it really makes finding things interesting. I'm gonna go over here. We got another item. There's just fucking items galore in this place. I don't know who came in here and dropped their damn berries all over the place and shit. Choice specs and all that. Someone was like, you know, I hate these classes dropping these specs. <laughs> okay, so then there's just a rock climb thing. Well, unfortunate. We cannot really, uh, can't really get much farther than that, so. How the fuck do I get that item over there? I want it. How the fuck do I get over there, bro? Well, you know what, let's go to the other side of this here cave. There is a person over that way, and there's also an exit, but... kind of want to see what's over this way. And damn, I'm just blowing through these repels. 
It's all right though. Okay, so we got we got a little ladder. We got to climb it on our bicycle because we don't give a fuck. And there is an item, which is a metronome. Wait, what the fuck is a metronome? What? Held item that boosts a move used consecutively. Effect to reset if another move is used. Well, that is actually pretty interesting. Okay, cool. So we got some water over here which we can't surf on, which is kind of sad, so you know what, fuck it. Also, I'm kind of over being in this place, honestly. Fucking Lyra's calling me, but bitch, I ain't got time for your phone calls right now. And we got another trainer here, which is gonna have a very, very low level Pokemon. Freaking Persian, level 17. Nice. Well, let's, we'll just let Tommy do it anyway, because. We're about to grow a level, so we'll see if we evolve. I don't think we, I don't know if we are, but I feel like we're just about due to fucking evolve. I mean, Tubby, you're level 27. You've been a Munchlax forever. Like, get it together, bro. Level 28 wants to learn Screech. Eh, let's not. Alright. Do we evolve? Oh, we are fucking evolving. Holy shit. I, t I totally called that. That's insane. Okay, well, hey. Munchlax is evolving into Snorlax, so that's pretty cool. We just get a whole lot fatter, and the, the nickname Tubby is now in full effect. We got ourselves a Snorlax. Honestly, I didn't expect we were going to evolve like just a level after I, I stopped training. Holy shit. Wants to learn Lick. How about no, Tubby? Always trying to lick things, man. Trying to learn Tail Glow? Oh, shit. Well, Tail Glow is not really the best for you. Sharply raises a special attack stat, <laughs> and we're the one thing... And it has the simple ability. What the fuck? Why do all my randomized things end up with the simple ability. I'm, that is so confusing. Well, we're trying to learn Tail Glow, but fuck that, because we're a physical attacker, obviously, so you know what? We shall give up, but maybe later, Snorlax. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, over here, there's looking like a whole lot of nothing, pretty much, but there's an item, so hey, that's cool. A damp rock. That's what makes um, Rain Dance last for longer, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's really nothing here. Honestly, fuck this place. I'm sick and tired. Actually, you know, it's probably not worth, worth using the Super Pal because we're just going to exit in this here place, yeah? Actually, wait, no. Okay, this is actually this actually leads to a different section of the cave. I, <laughs> I'm a failure. Okay, well, let's use another Super Repel then. Fuck it. What have we over here? Oh, okay, there's really nothing. Why can't I fucking just hop in this water, bro? I noticed there's a cliff, but hey. What the hell? So we can rock climb there, but there's also an exit, and now we are out of the cave. So this takes us to Route 42, <clears throat> where I believe we actually just were. What happens if I surf here? I think I can catch a wild Pokemon on, route, on this route because I haven't been here before. Let's go ahead and check on the Poke Gear, well, just to make sure. And uh, okay, yeah. So it's looking like it's the same route as when we were over there before the cave, but I haven't been over here yet. So the first Pokemon we come across, I can catch. So that's pretty sweet. There's also an item right there, but I can't get it unless you have Rock Climb. So that's Pretty damn unfortunate. Oh, there's a fucking Suicune over here, though. What the hell? Found a rock incense. Hold up. Suicune, the fuck are you doing? Oh, you need cut to get to this asshole? I got it. <laughs> I totally forgot. I still have it. Okay. Well, cheerio. Go ahead and cut that down. What are you doing, Suicune? Chilling by these berries. Oh, Jesus. What's up with everybody pushing me today, man? Fuck you, Suicune. <laughs> and of course this guy's here. How brave it is. How refreshing it is. How beautiful it is. How quickly it moves. Hey, you seem to be around where Seacoon were appear. Yeah, 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 I'm familiar. We know the drill guy. My grandpa was quite into myths. I've heard so many stories about Seacoon from him. It won't stop following you until I've found out what you're after. You hear me. And now he's, now he's chasing it some more. Okay, well, Yuzine's the weirdest bastard ever, but whatever. So we got some, we got some, some apricorns here. Might as well steal them. It's got to be some good ones if Seacoon was chilling here. <clears throat> I'm glad I ended up coming this way, because honestly, we was just going to keep going to the right, but I guess we uh, we ran into Suicune. I remember there being some type of Suicune encounter there, but... Alright, so we take them apricorns, and then over here to the left is just more water, but there actually might be an item here, so you know what? We're going to take our damn time. Is there any items over here? Nope. Okay. Well, never mind then. Actually, let's go ahead and use... I do have a fishing rod, so let's actually use that fucking thing. Try to find a wild Pokemon, because I can catch the first thing I come across. So, good rod, let's see how good you really are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Landed a Pokemon first try. Okay, let's see what it is. Our first encounter for this route is... Oh my god, it's a fucking... It's a... It's a... It's a Cheerio. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, Cheerio? You know what, I'm just going to end up killing this thing. 
This fuck it. Ooh, actually, you know what? That's actually kind of perfect. I knocked it down to 20. I might as well catch it then, I guess. I have eight great balls, and it's probably going to be able to catch it first try. So, you know what? We're getting another, we're getting another Cherubi. Just, just to, you know, throw back in the box just in case. You can never... Oh, shit. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I hit freaking alt. Okay, yeah, well, you can never have too many too many Pokemon, so we'll give you a nickname, Cherubi. Um, what the hell should I nickname this thing? I'm just going to name it this happy face, because it seems fitting. <laughs> Fuck it. Chancer to box one. That is really unfortunate. I was I haven't been playing with the, the species clause. Um, oh, the fucking repel was on. That's why I, <laughs> I wasn't finding anything earlier. I am stupid, but yeah, like I was saying, I wasn't playing with the duplicates clause earlier in this Let's Play, so you know what, so we might as well just not play with it, who cares. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokemon I caught. You would think in a randomizer, you would never have to think about coming across duplicates, but... It definitely happens. It happens. This guy's got a Nidoran, I'm gonna just flash cannon it. Oh yeah. And actually... No, I don't want your damn phone number. I'll put Snorlax's fat ass in front. Tubby, let's do it, buddy. Oh, yes. Look at Tubby. Might even lose some weight running around like this, bro. <laughs> okay, so we got some more trainer battles. What's poppin'? Hey, this is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. That's kind of a bummer I ran into that fucking Cherubi, because there's actually grass right here, and I probably could have found something much cooler, but, uh... You know, what are you gonna do? Down goes the shell gun. You got yourself a nose pass. Oops, accidentally used extreme speed, damn it. Mentor Earthquake. Fucking summon your bees on me, huh, nose pass? Tamer Scott, you are a weirdo. What's up, guy? What's the other side of Mount Moore like, do you know? If you can beat me, I'll let you know. Oh man, I'm so intrigued, guy. So Veronica here has a half penny. I'ma just drink the OS. <laughs> oh yeah. Next is Ladian, and why are you so low leveled? The world may never know. Did Trio just use Miracle Eye? The fuck is that? Well, Tubby grows to level 29, and now you are up with the rest of the team, buddy. Hell yeah. So you know what? Since Tubby's there, let's actually stick face paint in front. I feel like a lot of my Pokemon are huge. Look at that. Just switch big-ass Snorlax for <laughs> Mamoswine's fat ass. So this would be my encounter <laughs> had I not caught that Cherubi. It's fucking Goldeen. That's actually kind of cool. I wish I would have got a fuck yes yeah, king but, you know, whatever. Acrotique City that way, and we are continuing this way, and we have arrived in Mahogany Town, so cool stuff. What's going on here? Are you off to see the Gyarados Rampage at the lake? Ooh, not yet, but soon. Just a souvenir shop. Nothing suspicious about it, no need to be alarmed. Oh, really? <laughs> that sounds pretty alarming. What do we got going on in here? Huh? You hear wind blowing into this room? That's that's just me whistling. <laughs> Enough about that. Why don't you buy something? Okay, what do you sell, guy? Tiny mushrooms, Pokeballs, or potions? What the fuck? What kind of souvenirs are these, bro? Experiment worked like a charm. Magikarp are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Oh, these are the these are the dudes responsible for the damn Gyarados. And what are, what are you what are you doing here, blocking this fat guy? Have you seen the guy with the black cape? He has been going back and forth between here and the lake of rage, saying strange radio waves are being transmitted. Who is he? I wonder. Nobody knows. We're gonna figure it out though. So let's go to the Poke Center. Catch a nice little heal. Look at look at this couple over here making out in the Poke Center. This is no get a room. This is no place. For your shenanigans. Pokemon do become stronger when they evolve, but they also learn moves more slowly. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. <clears throat> okay, so we got a nice little heal up. There's really not a whole lot in Mahogany Town, honestly. Oh, what's going on, bro? You're not gonna let me pass, huh? Hiya, kid. I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy ra rage candy bar. Right now, it can be yours for just $300. Hey, sure. Got ourselves a rage candy bar. Remember a person from as far as Kanto came to buy one a long time ago? It happened to have none in stock then. That person left rather upset. Yeah, well, you're you're terrible. What the hell is a Rage Candy Bar again? I, I don't even remember. It is a famous candy in Mahogany Town. Many tourists like to buy them to take home. Well, cool. We got one. We can't eat it, apparently. But it fucking useless candy bar. What the hell? So we're going to head up to the north where the Lake of Rage is going to be. Don't mind me. Just taking my mammoth swine through here. What's going on, guy? This is also a new route where we can catch a wild Pokemon, so... Should be pretty sweet. We found a Zubat level 18. What, what the fuck? I mean, this guy has a Zubat level 18. Why the fuck are you so low leveled? I don't understand. And you got a Polyrath too. Drill Peck fucked your ass up. And a Marsh Tomp. Look at face paint. Putting the finest of work. Oh, fuck. It has high jump kick. Incredible. <laughs> high, 
High jump crit, more like it. High jump kick, high, huh, high jump kick, and got a crit. Jesus. Trainer tips. All Pokemon have pros and cons depending on their types. You don't say. Okay, so we can catch the first wild encounter we come across here. Why is that music different? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Did I seriously just run into Entei right here? I just ran into level 40 Entei. <laughs> Holy shit. My encounter for this route turned out to be Entei. Are you serious? Well, it's just gonna flee after this, right? That's what happens, right? Should I just try to throw an Ultra Ball and see what happens? I'm going for it. <laughs> Come on, Entei. You know, oh, damn it. I was gonna say, you know you wanna stay in there. Apparently not. And it flees. Well, fuck, Entei. You just completely ruined my encounter for this route. What the hell? Damn it. That's actually, <laughs> that's actually pretty annoying. Fuck. Next one I find is a Grimer, so that's actually kind of cool, I guess. But, uh... Alright, so we got another trainer here. What's poppin'? Can't believe we found Entei for my first fucking encounter. Holy shit. <laughs> trainer Kim here has a Sentret. Level 21. Rolling kick. It's a nice little Oko. And you suck. Ha, <laughs> ah, you like Clefairy too? No, Clefairy is stupid. Clefable's pretty cool, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big Clefable fan. And an Iggly buff, get the hell out of here. I should probably heal up face paint considering there's another trainer battle, but they're probably going to be really low leveled, so you know what, fuck it. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? I sure as hell do. All of my Pokemon are kick-ass. You got yourself a nice little level 20 Raticate. This makes me sad to realize I probably... Ooh, Cresselia, oh shit. I was going to say, this makes me sad to realize I probably didn't even need to, like, <laughs> train up face paint that much, considering a lot of the Pokemon are the same level he would have been anyway. So, you know, let's extreme speed this here. Moon Duck. Pound. Why the fuck do all the good legendaries only have Pound? Okay, it has Bug Buzz, I guess. <laughs> Which does nothing, but... One more extreme speed takes care of your side your freaking... Your Space Duck. Oh yeah. By the way, you're a Pokemon mechanic, I can tell. Yes, you are. Why does everybody here want my damn phone number? It ain't happening. And there's a Pokeball here. Found a Light Ball. Okay, cool. So, Pikachu would enjoy that, but I don't got one, so... And we have another trainer. What's up? I love Pokemon. That's why I started, and why I'll keep on collecting Pokemon. You don't say. This guy has one Pokemon. It's a Masquerain. Drill Peck for the win. <laughs> Alright, that was quite easy. Okay, guys. We're going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to arrive at the Lake of Rage. And it should be, should, be pretty, should be pretty crazy. I heard there was a nice little party going on. I think that's why it's called the Lake of Rage, because people are raging there, right? Or, or no? Maybe not? No, there's just a Red Gyarados, but... Same shit anyway. Okay, later guys.